Hi YouTubers and uh, welcome to Honest Magic Reviews. So I've decided to do something crazy. I've uh, give my well-earned cash, $34.99 to be exact, to a magic dealer, Merchants of Magic, on a mystery box. I have no idea what's in the box. I'm hoping it's worth around about $34.99. Uh, big box. Uh, but I'm going to open it uh, and you can watch my first reaction and then I'll review what's in it. So, hang around, subscribe, click like, etc. All that kind of you know, jazz. Uh, and I'll see you after the trailers. Not the trailers. I get in, so armed with my trusty box knife. Not a bad sized box. No idea what's in it. Let's just open it up. Alright then, so what do we get? Well, we've got. Some black tissue paper. I've got some sweeties. Double dip dabs. What have we got? What have we got here? Oh. Uh, Tom Fury Magic presents All Aboard, a brilliant re imaging of the classic cartoon routine. Easy to perform, no forcing, no switching, quick reset. reset. With special thanks to Dan Holland. So you got that. I think it's a deck of cards. What we got in here? We got a. Uh, I guess a pretty deck of cards there. I think they're just normal playing cards. Yeah, just looking pretty. I'm not really into this. Uh, labeled by Taiwan Ben. Taiwan Ben Magic Production. No idea what that is, but we'll have a look at Taiwan Ben Magic, just says labelled. Uh, over here. Two special cards included. The Deal Stealer. Cody has gotten more than a $100 tips with this effect and strategy than any other. A powerful effect and strategy in connecting. We go here. Oh, you see that? An amazing effect and strategy for connecting. Okay, well... I'll review probably each individual. What we got? LNL Publishing, Nick Frost's classic packet trick, Mississippi Mount Monty. Uh, I mean, I, I quite like a lot of these kind of effects, so we'll have a look at that later. Uh, more. Oh. Uh, bubble wrap. On. So we got one, two, three, four. I would say four tricks, deck of cards, and some sweeties. What I'll do is I'll go online and actually price all this up and see what it's all worth if I was to buy it directly from the shop. Let's see if I've got a bargain. So, is it worth it? Well, I've, I've uh, gone on the website, so we've got some prices. So, labelled... Is a reveal of a card on a Coke bottle. That's £28.75p. Bear in mind, I've only paid £34.99 for the whole box. So that's that's 30 quid already. Uh, nice pattern cards. I'm not really into it, but these are £14.40 a pack for a deck of cards. Uh, I personally wouldn't buy pattern cards, but you know, we're talking about is the box money worth its money? So, you know, that's £14.40. Pretty much already the box is paid for. Uh, deal Stealer. Uh, this was at £23.95, which I think is quite high for two specially printed playing cards, but it's the routine, so I will learn the routine and we'll see if it's worth it, see if I'm 
I'm happy. Uh, I couldn't find the Mississippi Monty, uh, but you know the similar priced Monty products from LNL Publishing's around about the nine pound, ten pound. Uh, couldn't find all aboard at all on the website, uh, and then when I tried to Google it elsewhere, I couldn't find it. So. I'm guessing cartoon, I'm not sure what cartoon's going at the moment, but even if it's £15, you know, the box itself technically already paid for itself. Would I have purchased, or oh, not to forget my uh, my double dip tab, you know, bit sure of it. Uh, would I pick these products? Probably not. Will I use them? I don't know. I'm going to play around with them. I'm going to play around with them. I'm going to learn them. Uh do I feel disappointed from my mystery box? Uh, no, no, I don't think so. Uh, I don't think it's a bad deal. Uh, I think money wise, it's, it's good value for money. Uh, I'll play around with the items and maybe, you know, maybe the items are quite good. I have a sneaky feeling some of these like things like, you know, the Mississippi Monty might have been sat in their storeroom for God knows how long and they just can't get rid of it. Uh, this looks quite cool. It's a cartoon, uh, but it's made up of uh, train tickets. Uh, great if you live in London because it's the the you know the, it's from London too. Uh, I mean, I personally would have maybe mixed it up a bit, but you know I don't live in London, but I could always make some sort of story around it. Uh, and then of course, instead of the playing card, the final destination, uh, the final card shows the destination that was was picked and you know, force. So it's, it's cartoon, but it's made out of playing cards. Quite like it. Uh, couldn't find the price for it. Uh, I'm guessing it came out quite a while ago. However, the training video uh, is still online. Uh, two guys talking about it. But yeah, I'll have a look at it. I'll play around. So overall, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I didn't open it. And I didn't go, oh, I'm disappointed. I think I'll have some fun playing around with some of these things. And they're probably items that I would use. I mean, certainly the the reveal, the card reveal on a Coke cat, a Coke bottle. Uh, I mean, I'll open it up and have a look at it. But yeah, yeah, I could have a Coke bottle in the house and do a card trick. And I, always, I mean, anything that has a, a reveal of a playing card is going to get used. So I wouldn't say I was, I mean, Monty, the, the, the cards are great. But, you know, I'll have a look. Uh, you know, I'll have a look at, at this. I like the idea. Uh, you know, two special cards printed. I mean, if I get a £100 tip off this, it's apparently that's what happens. Yeah. Yeah, no, I wouldn't say I'm disappointed. I would say I'm... 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 Uh, satisfied uh, that I've got my money's worth. Uh, there are probably items I probably may not be picked. I wouldn't pro I would have picked. However, nothing in here is is junk. I mean, I definitely wouldn't pay fourteen pounds for a play deck of playing cards, but they look very pretty. Uh, it's not my thing, unfortunately. But you know, it's a deck of playing cards. I was looking for a deck of playing cards, and if they've got a nice kind of pattern design, but again, I certainly wouldn't pay you know over a tenner for a deck of cards. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I would say value for money. Uh, I may actually uh, have another go at another month, I think. Uh, yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Well done, Merchants of Magic. Uh, I don't feel ripped off. Uh, I kind of had a negative view about doing the mystery box, but I thought we'd have a laugh. Uh, and I'm pleasantly surprised. So, not bad. Uh, so, I'm happy. And I, well done, well done, Merchants of Magic. And uh, I don't feel ripped off, which is the most important thing when you're dealing with magic dealers. Uh, and I'm going to have a play around with. And there's some stuff in there I may actually use. So, yeah, well done. I'm happy.